Now that's a cup of coffee filled to the brim. Lovely morning. Dew on the lake. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy campers. Up at 535. Making my coffee. Got my oatmeal happening. And away we go. Talk to you a little later. Okay, well, breakfast over with. Eight o'clock, two and a half hours. Eight o'clock on the water, two and a half hours to get up, have coffee and oatmeal, wash the dishes, pack the barrel, pack the canoe, take down the tent, put everything in the canoe and float off. Two and a half hours. And I was speeding. Must have gone slow today because usually it takes me only two hours. Leaving my campsite at Misty Lake on our way to White Trout. First portage of 840 at the end of Misty Lake. And then there's a few 150, 200, four or five or six of them along the way before we get to White Trout. Beautiful morning. Sun has taken most of the dew off. It's a little hazy still. Burning the rest off. And away we go. And birds are singing. Water smooth. What a morning. Going uphill on a steep incline is tough. <sighs> well, the canoe and all the stuff I got attached to it, paddle fishing rods and stuff, probably weighs close to 40 pounds. My barrel and my water that I'm carrying another 25 to 30. And there you are. The GoPro fell out of its holder on my canoe. Funny thing. That's never happened before, but then it's never been on this portage before. So there you go. Okay, go slow, hot, 10 o'clock in the morning, 15 minutes to walk back, another 25 minutes and I'll be there. Double carry, 840 meters, yeehaw. Fun times. At least it's not the middle of the day, a little more humid, a little hotter, a lot of sweat. And I gotta drink a liter of water at either end of the portage. For heaven's sakes. Well, boys and girls, you having fun? Tagging along with me? See what I do for fun? I push myself. Hey, bushwhack. Uh-huh. Because of that mud. More mud fun. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. More mud fun. Bushwhack time. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, I don't want to go over that one. I want to go under that one. Ah, like that. Bushwhack time.
<sighs> oh yeah, lots of fun. Woo! Hello! Okay, free at last. And the flow of the river pushing me along. Portage and Rapids behind me. On the biggest one of the day, 8.40. Brutal. Looks like a pretty part of the river here. A little overgrown, hungover. Ow! Ow! Black spot. Ow! Dings. That hurts. Very nice. Really pretty part of the river here. It's narrow, opened up into a grassy area. Lily pads, flowers, trout breeding grounds, sandy bottom, lots of rocks. Beautiful. Don't you think? Can you see all that behind me? Nice, eh? Canada geese there, mom and dad and little one. Woo! Just run that portage. Got stuck on one rock once. What do we got here? Some rocks, a tree. That was it. 150. One portage I could run. Just like the other day I ran a small one. So the next one, Rapids 190 on the right. All right. Snack time. Jack Links. <laughs> I'm too tired to talk. There's a black fly on my GoPro. Okay, portaging we will go between the trees, over to roots. Boom. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> so the first 150, I ran it. This one, hear the water rushing, so can't run that. Not in this canoe. And uh, the portaging, 190. Looks like there's been some storm action around here. <sighs> Definitely need a break after this one. Woo, it's getting hot. Good news, only three more of these to go today. <laughs> Are we there yet? Camera's still recording. Ready? Hot. Woo! Hot. Oh. Man, oh man. And it's partly cloudy. Thank goodness. Because if there was no clouds and the sun was beaten, it'd be a lot worse. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, what do we got now? We got a 150 coming up on the right hand side. Food time. Real food bar. Lemon Square. That's me. Lemon Square. I'm a Lemon Square.
Oh. Oh, excuse me. GoPro stop recording. Well, next portage uphill 75 or 80 and then downhill 75 or 80. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Only two more to go. An 80, which hopefully I can run. And the last one, a 200, get me into White Trout Lake. Wonder what time it is. Gotta be noon. Boop, boop, beeps, bops. Boom, 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 boom. It is 2.45. I just finished the last portage, 200 meters. So it was five portages, 150 meters skipped. I ran it, the rest of them, rapid, can't run it. Broke my fishing rod, one of them that I have. Don't know how it happened, just had kind of like pseudo lunch. And I'm on grassy bay of White Trout Lake. Grassy Bay, that's what it is. Well, at this campsite that I got, there is a bunch of Canada geese on it. There we go. Hi guys. Yeah. There's a whole family I disturbed here. Sorry. Well, let's check out this campsite, shall we? Canada geese seem to like it here. So if it's good for them, right? Oh, that's just me getting out of the canoe. <laughs> Saskatoon berries, as far as the eye can see, they're just everywhere. This whole thing right here is all Saskatoon berries. Yum. Oh, that's so good. Pancakes with Saskatoon berries for breakfast, for sure. All right, well, no problem finding dead standing uh, here. Looks like a storm blew through here big time. Lots of dead wood. Yum. Hello. Right over there. Oh my God, they're so good. Well, just tuckered out. A lot of paddling today. Six portages, in, out, in, out, in, out. They were around 150 to 200 meters, five of them. One I ran, and the first one, 840, was a good one. Wasn't near as bad as the one from Daisy. That was brutal. Daisy into Misty. Pfft. Uh, really don't want to do that one again. Really don't want to do that one again. Really don't want to do that one again. It's just rocky and up and down and up and down and twisty and thin and it's difficult to describe. It's just a pain in the you know what portage. Anyway, um, it might rain tonight, so I put up a little tarp over my tent. Keep my stuff there. Oh, water is boiled. Cup of tea. And yes, leftover bannock from yesterday with Saskatoon berries. Yummy. Decided to make a little campfire anyway. There's so much dry wood around here where all those Saskatoon berries are. And I discovered going down the path when I found the thunder box, the further you go, the bigger the berries are. So these have been picked up here by somebody or whatever, but they're huge like raspberries when you get closer to the thunder box. Don't tell anybody. That's a little after eight. Good morning. Peeking through sunshine on a beautiful morning. It rained. I'm glad I set up the tarp. Everything's dry. Cool. Time for brekkies. Coffee's on. I don't think these are Saskatoon berries. I think they're raspberries. Look at those guys. Hey, look at this. It's a raspberry. See that? It's a raspberry. Yum, yum. Wild raspberries. 
as many as you can eat. What does she boil? Woo. Yeah, I can't say enough about this jet boil. I'm telling you, if you don't have one, you need one. Now that I know how good it is, this is a liter. So it really doesn't boil a liter because a liter is all the way up to here. It'll boil three quarters of a liter. So it's really for a single person, right? I've used it gone camping with the wife and, you know, it makes two coffees. And then if we want another one, you got to do it again. And then you got to, so it's a little, but they make bigger ones, two liter. So I'm thinking of getting another one for those purposes because it's just, you know, but for a single, it's been, uh-oh, mosquito. There's meat in my oatmeal. Have you ever eaten a mosquito? Like, you know, not on purpose, catching them and frying them up after you season them and saute them or something. Let that sit for a minute. Let that cool down and we'll be putting that away. Oatmeal with raspberries. Can you see those raspberries in there? Mm. Oh, that's terrible. Why would anybody want to eat that? Mmm. What a treat. So I'm going to let you get on with your breakfast. I got stuff to do. Tent to put away, tarp to put away, pack up. See you later. Leaving our campsite, 9 o'clock. Rained a little bit last night. Glad I put the tarp up. Kept me and everything dry. Up at 6. Didn't rush. Three hours. Coffee, breakfast, gathering raspberries. Okay, we're going to go back for a second because I'm going to bring out the double blade paddle and I don't think I can out here. <laughs> okay. Beast mode, double blade. God, I must be going five, six kilometers an hour. Well, I'm on the big part of White Trout Lake. Look at these guys. Hello, Mr. Loon. How you doing? Oh, there he goes. It's funky, eh? You're paddling along, and all of a sudden, out of the water, one or three pop up, like right beside the canoe. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Figured I'd give you a change of view. You're always looking at me talking. You know what I look like. Let's take a look at nature rather than just me and the boat and uh, nature in the background of where I've been. So I decided to take some shots of where I'm going. The drunk paddler. <laughs> you know, it's just easy to get the balance of the canoe going from one side to the other with the double blade. Why I lean back in my backrest. Easy on the shoulders. Nice. What we have in front of us is the narrow passage between White Trout Lake and Big Trout Lake. Well, Big Trout Lake with a lot of islands. A little misty. Sun's trying to break through. No wind. Beautiful. Well, I checked out islands so far. The island cap sites are occupied. We'll go check it out. by mushrooms right away. Not too shabby, eh? Just a short scoot up the hill. Mushrooms all over the place. So uh, we're going to fry them up. Yeah, hungry. And on top of those mushrooms, I found this huge lobster mushroom, which I'm going to be cleaning up very nicely. Thank you very much. What a campsite. If there's enough mushrooms here, you can start a store. All different kinds, bad ones and good ones. I'm exhausted from getting wood and picking mushrooms and cleaning mushrooms. So I'm gonna take a break. Well, it's hot, it's humid. I got the firewood going. We're gonna have a fire. I put up my tent, I picked mushrooms. They're drying, you know, had lunch. 
basically everything's good but it's so hot it's so hot i have to refresh so i'm gonna go jump in the lake go jump in the lake okay don't laugh i didn't bring my swimming trunk this is what 67 looks like now drying off time nice day huh the loon was watching some bullets and uh, a lobster mushroom I found awesome right a snack before dinner beautiful evening cedar tree keeping me company here Look at this guy right beautiful back to the mushrooms a little bit of birch bark and away it goes Time for another cup of tea. The water boiled. <sighs> Won't you have a cup of tea with me? And while you're at it, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Watch all the videos, including the commercials. That's right. Tell your friends to subscribe. Come on out and enjoy the forest. Boris recommends it. Highly recommends it. Look, I mean, look how terrible it is right now. You know what I mean? Night, night time. I'm gonna get up at five tomorrow instead of six. Bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. And coffee. Good night. Sleep tight. And I'll talk to you in the morning.